Hello everyone, let's learn about job order costing. Do not be surprised, you will find out what it is. In the previous video, we were producing an envelope. In order to produce the envelope, we needed some paper, glue, some workers, electricity, and a factory and so on, you remember it. The account we concentrated on was work in process. This inventory account needs direct materials, direct labor and manufacturing overhead. The direct materials and direct labor are posted as actual amounts. To be more precise, we post the actual cost of the paper, glue and wage we pay to the workers. The indirect materials and labor and the section other are also posted as actual amounts. The manufacturing overhead, however, is an applied amount. It is an estimate. Why is this an estimate? Because we want to apply the cost of manufacturing overhead before we sell the product. We do not want to underprice the product and lose money or overprice it and not be competitive on the market. What if the envelope is finished on January 31st and we still don't have the manufacturing overhead cost? To know the actual manufacturing overhead cost, we will need to wait until December 31st. Well, that is too little, too late. Instead, why don't we make an estimate at the beginning of the year? This is the formula we will use to apply the manufacturing overhead. First, we need to estimate the total manufacturing overhead cost and then estimate the total amount of allocation base. These would be usually machine hours or direct labor hours. Let's see the application of this formula. Our accountant estimated that the total manufacturing overhead for the year would be $20,000. He also estimated that we will need 500 direct labor hours to meet our production capacity. Simply take those numbers and divide. We will get a predetermined overhead rate of $40 per direct labor hour. Let's say that we are producing an envelope and we call this job job number 101. We use $350 worth of direct materials, $230 worth of labor. We also know that to produce this product we needed 10 direct labor hours. Well, that is easy. Take the predetermined overhead rate and multiply it with the direct labor hours that we have used to produce the envelope and find the manufacturing overhead cost, $400. So the total cost to produce the job is $980. Now let's take a look at more complicated example. Instead of having the total manufacturing overhead cost, we have to calculate it. It is very simple, just use the cost formula. Our accountants estimated that we will need 100,000 machine hours for the estimated production. We will have $50,000 of fixed costs and the variable cost per machine hour is estimated to be $4 per machine hour. Just put these into the cost formula. When we calculate using the cost formula, we find that the total manufacturing overhead cost is $450,000. The predetermined overhead rate, however, is calculated with the formula from above. Divide the total manufacturing overhead cost with the total estimated allocation base. We get $4.5 per machine hour. Let's apply this to an example. Assume we are working on a job number 102. We have incurred direct materials cost of $500 and direct labor cost of $300. We have used 100 machine hours for this product. Multiply those used machine hours with the predetermined overhead rate and get the manufacturing overhead cost applied to this particular job. Add all these three together and get the entire cost of the product number 102. When we apply manufacturing overhead costs to particular jobs, we make an estimate. That estimate will probably never be 100% correct. If the manufacturing overhead cost applied is higher than the actual manufacturing overhead cost, then it is over applied. If the actual is higher than the applied, then it is under applied. The difference can be either close to cost of goods sold or assigned to different inventory accounts. Okay class, you know the drill. Pause button and a play button. Good luck.